So Tasha K decided to go live on her app tonight. And with her going live, she decided to post some missing or to close the case of Chantel Freeman. Now, many of y'all know I have posted bukus of receipts. I even talked about the polygraph person. And we're going to talk about it tonight once again. Tasha K said that she talked to the polygraph guy. And he talked about a story about um, a guy who unalived somebody. Now, if y'all know, y'all been following my receipts, y'all know that I posted those receipts of the email. Hold what you got. Remember this particular email that I sent to Skip? Y'all can press pause and y'all can read it for yourself. Now listen to what he sent back to me. Oh, and at the bottom, oh, please look at this. Do you see the polygraph exams that I sent Skip on March the 11th? Natasha K lied. I know she lied. And she said that she talked to Skip and he was on a breathing machine. He is not on a breathing machine. Shame on you, Tasha K, for misleading your viewers. I was a wino, but what you did tonight, that was absolutely false. So let me post this email. So this is the email Skip sent to me. Now, Chantel indeed did take the polygraph because I spoke to Skip, I believe on three different occasions, and then he followed up with the emails. Now, he talked about polygraphs. If a person believes something happened in their life, they could actually pass a polygraph. But baby, we have more receipts. And she let us know tonight on that live that those receipts were true. So these particular text messages right here, Tasha K admitted that they were indeed authentic. You know why she admitted? Because she said Clarence, who was the brother, and Chantel had a full-blown relationship. Now, she said since she's posted receipts, but she did not talk about this particular receipt right here in the black. We're going to go here because I'm going to tell you something. Reading is so fundamental. Drop down right here. It says, I'm only four years older than you. We both was kids. Dad wasn't. Why didn't you address that, Tasha K? Why didn't, if you address some of it, why you didn't address all of it? Huh? Why? He said dad wasn't. That's an implication that he knew his father was sleeping with his sister. Come on now. And for those of you all who don't believe, Tasha K all but admitted that the text messages were indeed what? For the people in the back, real. Now let's address the next thing that Tasha K actually spoke about tonight. She talked about Chantel allegedly having a child by the older father and it was in the toilet remember that y'all well if clarence the father and kalia the ex-stepmom knew that she had a miscarriage in the toilet isn't that a crime to dispose of a fetus wasn't there a lady last year that got arrested and uh, charged and has been proven guilty. She's in prison right now, a black woman out of Ohio whose fetus was in the toilet and they didn't believe her and they charged her. What is it? Um, That's a crime, what, disposing of a fetus? I can't think of the exact name, but those of you people that are law people, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's go back to the text messages. Um, I want to ask y'all a question. How can a child have a mutual relationship with a sibling that is four years older. Here's another implication right here. I want y'all to look right above, right here. I love you. You my sister. Now this is the brother Clarence, but attack dad. Why would she be attacking dad, Clarence, if you didn't know anything was going on? Not me and Brandon, please. Come on now, y'all. Reading is fundamental. And I hold Tasha K very responsible for, one, lying. She lied tonight because I talked to Skip. I did. 
the guy at the Dallas Polygraph, I talked to him. I have documentation. Now, what you winos and everybody else have never seen, you've never seen receipts, have you? Has Clarence produced any receipts for us to see? Huh? Or have Chantel and myself been producing receipts? Did y'all forget about this one right here? Did y'all forget about this receipt from the ex-girlfriend? Read that. This is what Clarence sent to the ex-girlfriend. This is him right here in the gray. These are things Tasha K did not bring out. So I'm going to tell y'all something. You winos, do your homework. Go back and watch my series called Surviving Clarence. And Tasha K also said that Clarence and the ex-stepmom don't want to come forward right now. They don't want to come forward because they don't want to bring all this out about... Clarence, the son, and Chantel having a relationship. Baby, Chantel already brought that out. And she said she was more, she was just at fault as he was. And she apologized to her brother. See, Tasha K didn't talk about that. She apologized to her brother, but a relationship? There was not a relationship. Remember, if he's four years older than her and she was 14, how old does that make him, y'all? That makes him 18 years old. That's an adult. Come on, y'all. Wake up. Anyway, here and here first where Kimmy's world is your world. And this is the place where we practice integrity and honesty. And you can rest assured when we report anything from Kimmy's world, it will be factual information. We won't fluff anything with lies. And, I, and again, I hold Tasha K very responsible for what she did. Shame on her.